Right, man, like four months ago, nobody knew who you were. Now you're playing in a national championship game, and it's all on you. Yeah. What's that like? <laughs> um, I can't really explain it. Um, coming into the Orange Bowl, I knew that like we thought it would be like a close game and everything. And uh, well, what I really like about Clemson is that coming onto the football team, we like all of us specialists are really close. So say we have a bad game or anything like that, uh, we come up to each other like, "Hey, let it go. Just focus on the next kick." And uh, just like small things like that. So coming into the national championship, yeah, there's a lot of pressure. It could potentially come down to a kick, but uh, you just got to tell yourself, "Hey, trust the process." Yes, you're in an environment that you've never been in before, uh, on a stage that you've never been in before, but uh, you really have to trust each other and uh, like just focus on your job. I think it's kind of neat that um, you're going to be playing in a stadium where a former Clemson player plays his home games, yeah. a guy that was a walk-on who had a four-year career. Have you heard from him, or have you thought about that at all? Uh, yeah, we've talked about it. We've talked about it. We're uh, going to speak with him in a little bit, just like, hey, what, what's, yeah. what's it like? What's, what's the wind do? Because it's like a partial deal. Yeah. It's so, like just small things like that, like how's the field? But, yeah, like, we're, we're going to talk with him. When you uh, – yeah, the, before the season started, I don't know, how many texts did you get a day? Has it ramped up since the end of the year? Yeah, are you in more demand than you were – not say in July. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say more in demand. I always, I always get like a bunch of texts like right after a game. But uh, on a day-to-day basis, not really. Just, just old Greg. <laughs> in, the, in the Orange Bowl, man, extra points, on point kickoffs. Where did that come from? It's what everybody's asking, you, you know. What was your mindset heading into that game that you had kind of that performance? Uh, going into it, I, I knew I'd have to perform – but uh, we work on kickoffs every single day. Uh, I've been trying to improve on the, the extra points just because I go out and randomly do that. But uh, during the season, didn't go so well. But uh, <laughs> glad I could do that for the Orange Bowl. And uh, you know, just working on those, it's, it's kind of like a mindset that you got to take care of. Um, kickoffs, it's really just working on them. Like every day, like I was saying, and uh, for those ones, I was like, okay, you just gotta put put your leg into it. Um, it was a little windy in, in Miami, and uh, you're just like, okay, like focus on the kick. Don't focus on anything else that's going on. Like, yeah, your adrenaline's gonna be rushing, but uh, it's really just focusing on what you know how to do. The first one went in, you know, into the back of the end zone. Was that big? Did they give you confidence to say, you know, yeah, I think I can. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. As soon as that first kick came off, I was like, Greg, <laughs> relief was lifted off the shoulders. <laughs> you could definitely say that. Oh. But, yeah, right after that, I was like, okay, you got it, but focus on the next game. How big is, has Seth been to your success? Huge, huge. Uh, whenever I was first coming in for fall camp, say we wouldn't even have practice, um, Jim Brown and then Seth and I, we would meet up, and uh, we'd be like, hey, like, let's just get a couple, a couple snaps and kicks and uh, get the timing down, like just small things like that. But uh, not having to worry about a bad snap or not having to worry about a bad hold is a great feeling. Great feeling. You just go in there, you're like, okay, I trust the other guys. I'm just, just going to do my best. Is Seth like a coach on the field? Because he's yeah. a coach's son. Yeah, you can definitely say that. Whenever we go out there, he always looks at me. And uh, <laughs> actually, what I, was, what I was messing up with a little in the, in the season was like I just had to be smooth with my steps. So I told him, I'd be like, hey, tell me to be smooth with it. But, like, he thinks it looks swaggy what I do. So, like, any time we go out there, he looks at me and he's like, hey, be swaggy. So, like, we get a little laugh and, like, <laughs> try to, <laughs> loosens up the situation a little bit when you're on the field. But, yeah. Because, because we're not out there, you know, we have to ask these questions. I mean, prior to a kick, has there ever been anything said that has stuck out to you this year, whether it's – Seth or, or anybody else on the team? Uh, not really. One thing that I've noticed that's a big difference between high school and college is that high school, the other people talk crap to you, like whenever you're about to kick, but then like coming up here, nobody says anything. You're like, sweet. Like, I'm, all right, I'll just do me. <laughs> that's awesome.